Ahoy! And welcome to cabin 9022A. This is on Virgin Voyages Scarlet Lady, and we're gonna give you a stateroom tour. This is a sea terrace cabin category on the Scarlet Lady, and we are on the aft port side. So we're starting out with the entryway here. When you come into the cabin, you have um, your closet area, which is pretty spacious. It's got plenty of area for all of your different clothing. There's even room for your luggage. They provide you with two bath towels, so we've been keeping that in the closet as well. And you also have your safe in there, so you can keep your valuables, like your passport and your vaccination card if you're traveling with that, in the safe. So right across from the closet area is the bathroom, so we're gonna just step on in there. So the bathroom area is going to be a little bit small, so two of us getting together at the same time doesn't work in this particular bathroom, but it's pretty efficient otherwise. They do have some of your toiletries already included in the shower installed with those pumps, so you have your body wash, shampoo, conditioner already to go, as well as bar soap by the sink. There is just one sink in this bathroom. You have your toilet with the super powerful flush like you're on an airplane or typical for most cruise lines but even though this is a stand-up shower it's really luxurious you have the rainfall shower as well as the handheld feature as well which you can control either one whatever your preference I haven't found out a way to do both of them at the same time but you can also easily adjust the temperature of the water so we haven't found any issues with the space in the bathroom if one of us is just getting ready at the same time and there's plenty of storage for all of our different toiletries that we've brought on board so how you actually access the stateroom on Virgin Voyages is with your C-band that gets delivered to your home address before you even set sail. This replaces, if you've been on other cruise lines, the standard room key card. So here you will have your C-band, which not only accesses your room, but can also take payment for you while you're on board and scan you on and off the ship so you do not have a physical key card. Now, once you're inside the room, there's a couple controls just inside the door for do not disturb and also if you need some cabin service you can press that button to let the attendants know from the outside to either let you be quiet if you're continuing to sleep or if you need some service inside your cabin and that is by changing the colored light from white to red or blue depending on what service you need so there are some unique features on this ship that we haven't seen in other lines that we've cruised with so now matt is going to take you through the rest of the cabin tour So welcome now to the main living room here and this is what makes this space great is that it changes as you request it throughout the day. So right now what we have behind us it is transformed into a lounge couch and you can get it made up through the Virgin app from the couch and then later on in the evening get transformed into a king size bed. So that's the beauty of this room is that it transforms based upon your lifestyle. And now there's so many different things about this room that make it really unique all from the modern amenities, the design, the decor, the ambient lighting, and the best part about this room is that it's all controlled and managed through a tablet. Now this tablet, you can control many things throughout this room, from the light levels down to the temperature, from that to the TV. You can even get entertainment and order room services all from this tablet. So it's really unique, modern. So we really enjoy that aspect of it. It makes it very easy to relax and grab this and control the cabin curtains. So now Virgin adds their own unique touches throughout this space, little hints of red, little quirky decor throughout the room, which adds and spices things up a little bit and sets it apart from other cruise lines. Now this room doesn't come fully equipped with a full kitchen, but it does come with a mini fridge along with fresh water, which changes throughout the day as requested. And not only that, but it comes with built-in wall chargers, they have standard plugs in the United States and they have an international one along with USB plugs so you can plug right in and stay connected all from your very own room. So now we're going to move right on out to the best part of this ship which is the balcony. So come on out. So now we're out here on the balcony which is pretty roomy. I mean I can touch from one end to the other and move about freely which is really nice. Now what makes this unique is it comes with its own hammock 
And again, the Virgin Way adds a little nice touch to it. You can relax out on this balcony, enjoy a nice book, the nice views. It also comes with its own dining set and little table. But if you're staying with other friends or guests, it also has the ability to open up and can join with the other rooms that are on this ship. So if you request the two rooms together, you can open these up and enjoy a nice time with an extended balcony with your friends. And the balcony not only is private, but you can also look out onto the nice ship depending on where you're at. But overall, it's a nice touch and really enhances the overall experience here of the Sea Terrace Suite. All in all, we have found that the Sea Terrace cabin has fully met our expectations and in some ways exceeded those expectations. Now you can do a lot through the Virgin Voyages app and Wi-Fi on this ship is complimentary as part of your regular cruise fare. So they encourage you to use that app and discover ways to navigate around the ship through it, like finding out what's going on, ordering breakfast to your room or room service at any time of day. You can also request cabin service through your app. So if you leave and realize you need your water replenished or you want to have your bed changed from day mode to night mode, you can simply do that through the app wherever you are on the ship. So the Sea Terrace is just one cabin category of many. If you want a super luxurious experience, you can get one of their Rockstar cabins and be really VIP for your cruise voyage. They do have a special area for some of those Rockstar suite guests that's up on the sun levels around deck 16 or 15. But we really hope you enjoyed our tour of the Sea Terrace cabin here on Virgin Voyages. If you do find yourself on here, would you stay in this type of cabin or are you partial to inside cabin? Because with those, not having any windows makes it really prime for nap time. Or would you go bigger and want the full VIP experience? Let us know below in the comments. And if you like videos like this, we are traveling around the world. So if you like travel videos, you can hit the like button and subscribe for us and join our journey. And we really enjoy interacting with you on our other social media platforms like our Patreon page where you can find exclusive content that you won't find here on YouTube. We also have an Instagram page and a TikTok so you can follow those. The account details will be down below in the description and we'll see you in next week's video. Bye!